Okay, girls, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get messy beach wave hair. Um, so first thing you do, just let your hair air dry. Um, my hair is naturally kind of just wavy, but um, I like to spruce it up. So what we're going to be using today is a basket full of products. <laughs> just kidding. I will pull out the products that you need for this look. And then I'm going to be using um, my wave one by Bondi Boost. Um, so let's just get started, okay? The first thing I'm going to be using on my hair is a heat protectant. This one is my favorite because it's a lotion and you can just lather it on your hair. Um, and then I also like to have a spray to like double up because I feel like it gets the spots that you miss on your hair. Um, so this is also Bondi Boost. They had like sent me free product um, a while ago. So I'm just going to be doing some pumps of heat protectant throughout my hair. Okay, get it all lathered up. Get the back, the underneath, the ends. Okay, and my hair is lathered up in heat protectant as you can see. And then I just like to do this on the top front pieces because the front pieces are what I um, end up destroying the most. I put so much heat on my front pieces. So what we're going to be using today, um, I'm definitely going to be using my new texture spray. I love this one. It smells like the beach. It's salty and that's just my vibe. Um, if you want one for a cheaper price, I just got this new Christian S one. This one works great, um, but it doesn't have a scent. So I don't know. That's why I like this um, IGK one. And I will have all of the links below. So that will help me out because I can make some money. We're just kind of letting my hair dry after putting in that heat protectant. Um, so what else? I do TikToks um, for healthy hair tips. And I also started a blog post series so um, I've got about four parts of that out on my blog right now. You can check it out. It's sunkissedandblue.com. And um, we're just gonna wait for that to heat up and for my hair to dry. So I set it at 180 degrees Celsius. Um, that's just kind of what the setting is on already um, because I don't need that high of heat today and I really don't use high heat on my hair um, regardless. So the trick that I've found to make your hair look natural is you want to start lower down. So you don't want to start all the way up and you're just kind of going to do not hold it for very long. And then it creates that really pretty wave and that line will um, go down over time once we put some product in it. And then since I have a middle part, I'm just going to try and mimic the same spot I just did. Okay. And then we kind of just want to do random pieces here. That's kind of what the look is today. We're not trying to do it like every single piece. I'm just trying to do here and there pieces. And I have long layers in my hair, so that's why I've got some shorter pieces. Let's work on this side. I'm gonna put this one a little higher up to make it a little different. I don't want all of them to start in the same spot. Kind of just want it more messy. There we go. Hey, this is looking good guys and if you have totally straight hair like this will work on completely straight hair too I'm kind of just doing like random pieces here and there where I want them 
Let's do a piece underneath here. And then I'm gonna have to get the back um, with my other two mirrors so that I can see what I'm doing. And now then... that I've done the back pieces, my hair overall just looks cute and wavy. And I'm going to add some hair oil to my hair to make the ends not look as frizzy. So I'm using Shea Moisture 100% Pure Argon Oil. I'm just doing a pump. I'm just gonna kind of put it on my ends like this. And then right there by my face. And it just really like smooths down your hair makes your hair look super shiny. I'm gonna take another pump and I'm gonna put it throughout the back of my hair because I have a lot of hair and I like it to look shiny. Okay, now what you're gonna do is I'm going to take my sea salt spray it's just like a texture spray oh my hands are all oily now okay and i am going to put some texture throughout my hair this just adds volume and texture like if you have really soft hair like me this really helps And now the last final step we're going to do is a wet texture spray. So this is actually a sea salt texturizing spray by Not Your Mother's. And what this is going to do is it's going to make your hair less kinky. So on the kinks like this part right here, I'm just going to kind of spray a little bit of it and zhush it. And then it will just fall. It just kind of gets your hair wet, but it adds salt. So it'll also hold and then the ends and it kind of just breaks up those perfect kinks and makes your hair look even more messy so i like to really put it in the top here if you think your hair looks good how it is before this stuff then don't bother putting this stuff in it but that's all that is my messy hair wave tutorial and i'm gonna show you guys like a little 360 of my hair mm -hmm.